point, so it doesn't matter. We need more Gamba. That's a good question. Um, I mean, I can't operate the Gamba while I'm doing the run. It's impossible. So feel free to pester the mods about it, I guess. Oh my god. And if you pester them too much, they will ban you, so you have to pester them just the right amount. All right, at least I get to test my reset theory, because I'm pretty sure, unless I get double stacks here, it's GG's. All right, double stacks. We'll see how, what, what's the damage? Oh, that's not bad. Are you sure you guys want to be summoning Talik? Be careful what you wish for. Glad to see you running the favorite games of so much. Oh, thank you, Clip. I'm trying my best out here. This game's hard, but... Like, we haven't really been getting a lot of good runs. What's happening? Oh, people are complaining that there's not enough uh, predictions. I love how the Alucard shield goes fucking zooming. <laughs> that is so funny. I can't even think of like what prediction to make other than will I get sub seven this run? And then I guess Gamba on that after getting past like death or something. That's the only thing I could think of that would make sense. Because I'm kind of like 50-50 for it right now. Well, even less than 50-50, I feel like. I feel like I haven't hit very many sub-7s today. But yeah, I'm at the point where I, I can't organize these gambas myself. I gotta focus on the speed run. What is that Spittlebone pattern? I don't like it. Oh, that Axe Knight! That's what I did last time that fucked me up. I skipped the Axe Knight. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't gamba under the assumption that my uh, Clock Rush is bad. Nope. My experience, my experience route is great. Nope, everything's fine. 99% rock throwers? Ah, oh, dude. I had to break it to you guys. I don't know. We'll see how strict the experience route is. I mean, I definitely fucked it up, but... Onyx or Garnet Gamba? I mean, that's not... I'm gonna say I'm just gonna veto that idea. Double kill would actually be just true random, yeah. Because if I get crits, it doesn't happen. Because I'm not going to mess up the execution. The execution is like a child could do it. So it would just be whether I get crits or not, basically. Unless I get amazing crits that uh, double kills them <laughs> both, but with crits, that'd be really funny. No, I think the sub seven is a perfectly fine Gamba, and you guys are just degenerates that want more Gamba. You forgot about Twitch chat ideas? They never left. They never left. That's where you get the best ideas. You just ask people in Twitch chat to come up with ideas for you. Honestly, 10 out of 10, every idea. Idea is so good that you should like sell them, right? So here's an idea. 
you take your ideas and then you uh, mint them on the blockchain and then sell them. It's called Infinite Money Glitch. Why did I skip the second blue axe knight? Because I'd level up if I killed him. I've made this mistake before. You shouldn't? I definitely would have. We should be pretty much back on track now, I think. I probably could have killed the uh, spear guard, actually. And no double kill. No, but I got the double kill this run, Dalek. Yeah, I got the double kill. I just mi I just forgot to kill an Axe Knight early on. That's the only difference. Yeah, I just made a mistake because I'm still getting used to the new um, extra enemies that you kill. So fucking bad at the game. I should still barely sub seven. Just kidding, I'm not sub sevening anymore. If I made the book jump, I would have gotten it. Killing a boss, killing enemies before and after the boss is different. Oh wow, I still barely got it. That's crazy. All right, well this run is bad, but I can technically continue it. The experience that you gain uh, from enemies is different depending on what, what level you currently are. So you can't just like, oh, I missed an Axe Knight here, I'll kill an extra one later. Because uh, later you'll be a different level, so it doesn't work that way. You wonder how close I was? You can look at the clock in the center of the room. If the clock hand moves, that means I missed the cycle, right? Essentially, like, you can look at the clock in the center of the room, and it's if, if it's moving by the time I'm transforming, it means I would have just barely missed the cycle, because that's when the statue would start moving, is when the clock hand moves. I think I explained it poorly, but you're getting what I'm saying. Just look at, look at the clock hand. What am I doing? <laughs> Jesus, book jump. They're both beastmen, and they were both individual bosses in Rondo of Blood. Same with Slogger and Gaibon. The whole existence of this game is that it's the sequel to Rondo of Blood. So a lot of the enemies and bosses from Rondo of Blood are reused. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game, man. Thank you for. I'm interested. At least I got the fast fairy to kind of make up for it. <laughs> I'm interested in this. I'm interested in <laughs> Farewell for 
and now. Do I not have enough MP to use the spell? The Alucard Sword Special is like something that I looked into and like it might be worth using. It might not. I don't know. I'm really bad at this game. But I got a decent pattern, so it doesn't matter. I need to practice that more. But I think we would have gotten the good big toss, right? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. There's so much new stuff. So it's going to take time for me to get used to it all. Oh my god. Still a lot of time to save. So it's not the end of the world, but man oh man, does it not feel good to not get that first try. I'm just forgetting like how bad the actual world record is right now. Because I'm, like, putting myself to the same standards that, like, the 1626 was, which is not even, like, remotely the same. Oh, I'm doing the wrong strat here. Whatever. That'll come with time. I need to practice it more to get it into muscle memory. There's no more damage boost for the rest of the run, right? Because the fairy never used the potion. and will not use the potion, so. Yuck. Wait, did I skip that tombstone? How? That's crazy if I did. Because I definitely wasn't trying to do that. Which means we're going to get another level up, like, here? No? No? Unless we level up off the imps. Skipping that tombstone didn't matter.
Ugh. I think this is like maybe tied. I don't know. I actually don't know how long it takes to kill these guys anymore. Should it PB? Mm, maybe. I just don't know what the uh, the time is anymore from like um, uh, does luck affect crates? If you watch my newest video, I explain it there. Point six nine. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. Sixteen nineteen point six nine. That's a funny number. I like that number. Actually, this run's pretty cool. Actually. All right. Well, this run was so bad, but the world record is going to be bad for a little while, and that's okay. It's just going to take me a while to hone in on all of the 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 skill from the previous record and put it into a run that actually has like legitimate time saves because everything about this run is executed worse than the 1626 what, what were except for just having a faster clock rush so it's going to be a while do not hate humans if you cannot until we get to our uh, goal time but i can update the uh stream title already a hard lot do i think 15 is possible yes my goal time is literally a 15 minute time it's in the title of this dream farewell my son uh, But we're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> Alright. I think this is a good place to take a break. I need to rest my hands anyways. Uh, so I'm going to run some ads real quick. Um, but we're still going to do more runs after the ads. Uh, you're not missing anything. It's just the, the credit sequence and whatnot. So uh, I'm also going to grab some more water. So yeah, uh, I'll... Be right back in just a second, y'all. <laughs> 